Hi, Miss Brown here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an awesome bookmark just like these. Have fun, enjoy, and get creative. Today, I'm going to show you how to make two different types of bookmarks. The first being this square bookmark, and the last one being this heart-shaped bookmark. Just to kind of show you how exactly these work, I've got a book here. I open up to any old random page, and if I want to save it, these square ones will fit nicely, just like this. And these heart shape will fit like this. Now again, these are just ideas to get you going and thinking creatively. So if you ever have a different animal or creature you wanna make, go for it. If you have different types of paper on hand, you're more than welcome to do so. I've made a couple examples and I can tell you that any way you make this, it's going to be a lot of fun. First off, you're going to start with just a piece of paper. Um, this is an origami fold, which requires a square sheet of paper. If you ever need to make a square sheet of paper, I'm going to show you this simple little trick that saves some time. You're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it up just like this. You're taking this small edge and leading it up to the large edge. Now, you will have a little section of a rectangle and this large triangle. You can take this rectangle and fold this part off. We're going to actually end up cutting this part completely off of our paper. When we do this, we should be left with a square. Just like that. Now, to make our first bookmark, this square shape, you will leave your paper as is folded. You're then going to take a corner with the edge of the fold at the bottom and match it up to the very top of our paper. You're going to do that on one side and the other side as well. like that. You're now going to open them up so you should have a folded triangle here, here, and a square there. Kind of like a diamond shape right now as the points are top and bottom. You're then going to take one of those top corners, not both, just a single section of paper, and move it down to the bottom. And you're going to fold it just like this. So now I have created a triangle that fits between these two triangles. You're then going to take this tab again that we folded, this triangle, and move it up and tuck it inside like a little pocket. You do this once, and you're actually going to do this to the other side as well folding it into this little pocket down below. This is the trickiest part. We're almost done already. Now make sure that you have some really nice creases. And there you go. That is our first very, very simple bookmark fold. You can now add extra elements onto this bookmark to make it any creature or character you want. I'm going to show you how to make a monster, which I think is pretty fun. You know that piece of paper that you cut off before? Well, awesome. We're going to use this to create the teeth of our monster. You can make a zigzag line on this paper. Now notice, I'm leaving myself a little bit of room for these zigzags, because I'm going to cut into this paper later. I can double check. Yeah, I want that that big. You 
can go along now and cut on that line. Now be careful not to cut out the teeth into triangles. You actually want to have a nice row. And there you go. If you want, you can flip it over so you don't see your pencil marks. That's how you make a nice row of teeth for your monster. I am going to draw some eyes and then color in this monster mouth to show you how it's going to go. If you want, you could cut out eyes and glue them on, but I'm just going to draw them. Now I'm using markers. You can always use other materials as well. I'm putting a piece of paper, the scrap paper underneath, so I don't get any marker on my table. It's always good to have paper that saves you time and a headache later when you clean up. Now you can use a little bit of tape or you can always use glue, like a glue bottle or a glue stick. I'm just going to use tape today. And there you have it. There is our monster bookmark. Ready to take a bite out of reading. Now, I'm going to show you how to make our next bookmark, which could be turned into a horse or unicorn or even a dragon if you so choose. First, you will need another piece of paper. I, again, just have white office paper, but you can always use lined paper, which works just as well, or construction paper if you want to add color to your creation. We're going to, again, make a square piece of paper. Now this time around my edge really doesn't matter as much because I'm actually going to use half of this paper for this creation. So now that you've made a perfect square, you can create half a paper by folding this any way, the hot dog or burger way, into a half. You're then going to cut off this half and just use this to create our bookmark. Now I have a half sheet of paper. I'm going to put these pieces to the side so I can use them later to add decorations to my creation. I'm going to then fold it in half, this time the hot dog way, so it's nice and thin and skinny. Just like that. I'm making sure this is a nice crease this time. It's not lined up exactly, so I might actually go back and fix this again. There we go. Now my edges are all lined up nice, and I have this hot dog shape. I'm then going to fold it again in half. Making a really nice crease for me to follow later. I'm then going to open this up, take my paper, and actually turn it upwards along that fold line we made. 
I'll draw it out here for you, just so you can double check and see. Perfect. Fold it up along that line. Just like that. You're then going to take the other half and do the same thing. This will make a really nice point. Just like that. Now this is where the fun begins. I get to kind of make the shape of my character's face. Now, I've got two different examples here. You can fold it any way you want, but this is what I've kind of noticed. If I'm making a dragon, I think a really, really uh, sharp fold is nice for its mouth. So, what you're going to do is make that chin first by taking your paper and folding it in. Now, I leave a little bit of a space. You could go all the way to the edge, but I don't need it that tight. I kind of fold it just like that and I'm gonna do that on this side and this side as well you'll notice now my paper almost looks like a heart if you want you could create this into a heart bookmark very easily by folding this edge there and there but I want to make the shape of that mouth on this side You're gonna then take this edge and fold it in again. Now, if it's a unicorn, I think they look a little nice, more of a chin. So I actually kind of fold this corner again. But I'm gonna leave it sharp for now to show you the dragon. I can then tape these edges right here not this part. This is that little pocket that our book will slide into. Now I've got my folding all done. All that's left is decorating my creation. So I'm going to point this out. The ear of our character is very important to hold this artwork together. If you put it on the corner of this fold right there, this will ever pop open. There's a possibility otherwise, if you don't glue this down, it could pop open and you could lose your page. So I'm gonna show you how to make both of these ears. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it on one character though. So. You get to choose what you want to do. And again, you might have different ideas than what I've shown you. You can always feel free to create whatever you want. Now I'm going to show you how to make the eye. I like to make a very large circle. I think it's always go easier to go big to small than just to go small to big. So I make mine very, very large to begin with. And I make a curve once and a curve again. If you want, you can add a little pupil right there. And color in any colors you want. Now for the unicorn, I made her eye closed. You could always have an eye like this as well if you want. But if you want to make just a closed eye, I'm going to put this paper down so you can see. You can use a pencil first. And draw kind of a curve. A couple eyelashes here if you want eyelashes. And go over it with a marker. Or 
pen or anything you have on hand. And then I'm going to show you how to make the wing here on the scrap paper. We're going to make a curve up, kind of like our eye we did here, and a curve down. Now you can draw this out first and cut it out later. Oops. I'm glad I drew it out. You can make a wing just like that. Now we're going to do the fringe and the spikes. So when I do my fringe, I actually like to take my guy and line up and figure out where that hair is going to line up on my artwork. I'm going to then take my marker, my crayon, my color pencil, whatever you have to color. Oops, I'm going to use this to back. And I am going to make it line up. Now I can take this paper and just cut it right out. But I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room right there. I'm going to line it up on my guy here. And I'm going to actually cut some of this off. Now, to make it look like hair, just like this, I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut some little itty bitty cuts to kind of make it have a fringe that I can mess around with and curl even if I want. And I left a little bit of white paper so I can actually glue it onto the back of my guy like I did right here. Now I'm going to make the fire on his mouth. Which are just a whole bunch of curvy lines kind of sticking out like that. Now, oof, I forgot the most important thing of the unicorn, the horn. <laughs> and there, those pieces. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the dragon because there's a lot of other things to glue on, but feel free to make them any way you want. And this is just an idea. You could have something else that I didn't create here. I would love to see what you come up with. How I draw these this nose right here is gonna be the same for both the unicorn and our dragon. I do kind of like a small circle, but sometimes I'll actually do more of a C just like that. 
I've seen people do a squiggly too. Either works. Now here's where I glue on the ear. Again, I'm putting it over the fold of this paper at the very top corner. And there you have it. There is our bookmark. You can always create your own though, any other way that I might not show. Have fun, get creative, and make some cool art.